Welcome back and happy Sabbath. Today we're going to be reading from Bereshith, chapters 5, 6, and 7. So let's get started. This is the book of the genealogy of Adam. In the day that Elohim created man, he made him in the likeness of Elohim. Male and female, he created them, and he blessed them, and called their name Adam, or Adam. In the day they were created, and Adam lived 130 years and brought forth a son in his own likeness, after his image, and called his name Sheth. And after he brought forth Sheth, the days of Adam were 800 years, and he brought forth sons and daughters. So all the days of Adam lived were 930 years. And he died. And Sheth lived 105 years and brought forth Enosh. And after he brought forth Enosh, Sheth lived 807 years and brought forth sons and daughters. So all the days of Sheth were 912 years and he died. And Enosh lived 90 years and brought forth Kenan. And after he brought forth Kenan, Enosh lived 815 years and brought forth sons and daughters. So all the days of Enosh were 905 years and he died. And Kenan lived 70 years and brought forth Mahalalel. After he brought forth Mahalalel, Kenan lived 840 years and brought forth sons and daughters. So all the days of Kenan were 910 years and he died. And Mahalalel lived 65 years and brought forth Yared. And after he brought forth Yared, Mahalalel lived 830 years and brought forth sons and daughters. So all the days of Mahalalel were 895 years and he died. And Yared lived 162 years and brought forth Hanak. And after he brought forth Hanak, Yared lived 800 years and brought forth sons and daughters. So all the days of Yared were 962 years and he died. And Hanak lived 65 years and brought forth Methuselah. And after he brought forth Methuselah, Hanak walked with Elohim 300 years and brought forth sons and daughters. So all the days of Hanak were 365 years. And Hanak walked with Elohim. Then he was no more, for Elohim took him. And Methuselah lived 187 years and brought forth Lamech. And after he brought forth Lamech, Methuselah lived 782 years and brought forth sons and daughters. For, so all the days of Methuselah were 969 years and he died. And Lamech lived 182 years and brought forth a son and called his name Noah, saying, This one does comfort us concerning our work and toil of our hands because of the ground which Yahweh has cursed. And after he brought forth Noah, Lamech lived 595 years and brought forth sons and daughters. So all the days of Lamech were 777 years and he died. And Noah was 500 years old, and Noah brought forth Shem, Ham, and Yepheth. Chapter 6 And it came to be, when man began to increase on the face of the earth, and daughters were born to them, that the sons of Elohim saw the daughters of men, that they were good. And they took wives for themselves of all whom they chose. And Yahweh said, my spirit shall not, dr shall not strive with man forever in his going astray. He is flesh, and his days shall be 125 and 120 years. The Nephilim were on the earth in those days, and also afterward, when the sons of Elohim came in to the daughters of men, and they bore children to them. Those were the mighty men who were of old, the men of name. And Yahweh said that the wickedness of men was great in the earth, 
and that every inclination of the of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually and Yahweh was sorry that he had made man on the earth and he grieved in his heart and Yahweh said I'm going to wipe off man whom I have created from the face of the ground both man and beast creeping creature and bird of the heavens for I am sorry that I have made them but Noah found favor in the eyes of Yahweh this is the genealogy of Noah Noah was a righteous man, perfect in his generation. Noah walked with Elohim, and Noah brought forth three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And the earth was corrupt before Elohim, and the earth was filled with violence. And Elohim looked upon the earth and saw that it was corrupt. For all flesh had corrupted their way on the earth. And Elohim said to Noah, the end of all flesh has come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through men and sea. I am going to destroy them from the earth. Make yourself an ark of gopher wood. Make rooms in the ark and cover it inside and outside with the covering. And this is how you are to make it. The length of the ark is 300 cubits. It's width 50 cubits and its height 30 cubits. Make a window for the ark and complete it to a cubit above earth. Make a window from the ark and complete it to a cubit from above. And set the door of the ark in its side. Make it with lower, second, and third decks. And see, I myself am bringing flood waters on the earth to destroy all flesh in which is the breath of life from under the heavens. All that is on the earth is to die. And I shall establish my covenant with you, and you shall come into the ark, and you and your sons and your wife and your sons' wives with you. And of all the living of all flesh, two of each, you are to bring into the ark to keep them alive with you, a male and a female. Of the birds of their kind, and of the cattle of their kind, and all the creeping creatures of the ground after their kind, two of each are to come to you to keep them alive. As for you, take all food that is eaten to gather it to yourself, and it shall be for food for you and for them. And Noah did according to all that Elo Elohim commanded him. So he did. Chapter 7. And Yahweh said to Noah, Come into the ark, you and your household, because I have seen that you are righteous before me in this generation. Of all the clean beasts, take with you seven pairs, a male and his female, and of beasts that are unclean, two, a male and his female, and of birds of the heaven, seven pairs, male and female to keep offspring alive on the face of all the earth. For after seven more days, I am sending rain on the earth, 40 days and 40 nights, and, and shall wipe from the face of the earth all that stand that I created. And Noah did according to all that Yahweh commanded him. Now Noah was 600 years old when the flood waters were on the earth. And Noah and his sons and his wife and his son's wives went into the ark because the waters of the flood of the clean beasts and of the beasts that are unclean and the birds and all the creep and all that creep on the earth two by two they went into the ark to Noah male and female as Elohim had commanded Noah and it came to be after seven days that the waters of the flood were on the earth in the 600th year of Noah's life, in the second new month, the 17th day of the new month, on that day, all the fountains of the great deep were broken, and the windows of the heaven were opened. And the rain was on the earth 40 days and 40 nights. On the same day, Noah, Shem, and Japheth, and Ham, the sons of Noah, and Noah's wife, and the three wives of his sons with him went into the ark. 
they and every form after its kind, and every beast after its kind, and every creeping creature that creeps on the earth after its kind, and every bird after its kind, every bird of every wing. And they went into the ark to Noah, two by two, of all flesh in which is the breath of life. And those going in, male and female of all flesh, went in as Elohim had commanded him, and Yahweh shut him in. And the flood was on the earth forty days, and the waters increased and lifted up the ark, and it rose above, and it rose high above the earth. And the waters were mighty and greatly increased on the earth, and the ark moved about on the surface of the waters, and the waters were exceedingly mighty on the earth, and all the high mountains under the heavens were covered. The waters became mighty, fifteen cubits upward, and the mountains were covered, and all flesh died, the creeping creatures on the earth, the birds and the cattle and the beast and every swarming creature that swarms on the earth and all mankind. All in whose nostrils was, was the breath of the spirit of life. All that was on the dry land died. So he wiped off all that stand, which were on the face of the ground, both man and beast, creeping creature and bird of the heavens. And they were wiped off the heaven and they were wiped off the earth. And only Noah was left, and those with him in the ark, and the waters were mighty on the earth 150 days. Thanks for joining me, and I will see you tomorrow.